What is going on guys? This is Alex with Baseball Cards AF. Back with another video. Happy Heritage Week. Uh, Heritage uh, 2019 released yesterday and is featuring the uh, design and homage to the 1970s Tops cards, which I have one right here as a base kind of comparison for us um, as far as the tone the uh, the look of the photos the back that sort of thing so I'm um, got that I will be kind of showing off and whatnot got my cross bat sticker there and uh, we've got a rack pack value pack for 20 cards this was uh, let's see six dollars I believe five or six bucks and you get 20 cards so um, let's just break right into it and see what we have going on and I forgot to show you the odds my apologies but anyway, you don't need the odds. First up, we got a re-signed Brew Crew member, Mike Moustakis, for the Brewers there. Next, we've got uh, Ronald Guzman for the Rangers. We've got a Cardinals. Who is it? Waka, 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 baby. All right, I've got another Cardinal in the PC from the set. I always try to do a, uh, a team set from Heritage and Gypsy Queen and uh, Archives and that sort of thing. So adding that to the list there. And let's just uh, let's do a comparison. And one thing, blaring difference here. In 1970, they used cards with white lettering for the Cardinal team cards. And uh, this year they're using, uh, for the homage, the red lettering with the full Cardinals team name. So um, it looks like they, uh, oh, interesting. I have got a missing white check for Michael Walker. I was about to say, uh, this set was missing the original 70s white division line, but looks like it's just my Waka. I wonder if that is a variation or just an error. That's interesting. I'll have to uh, take a look at that. But if you guys can see that there, here's the 70 on top, another base card, and then the Waka with no division line. Or maybe it's just pitchers don't have that. So we'll, we'll set that there and find out. Next up, we got Jesus Sucra, catcher. We've got Diamondbacks, Jake Lamb for third base. So it uh, looks like there's no rhyme or reason. Some of them have, the, um, have that division check, and the other ones don't. So Diamondbacks there. Uh, Julio Teh uh, Teheran, my apologies. Uh, pitcher for the Braves. We've got Cole Calhoun, outfield. So, yeah, just kind of uh, hit or miss. As far as when they want to use the want to use that check, that white division check or not. Sorry, I'm focusing on that, but it's just kind of annoying me. <laughs> we got Elvis Andrus, shortstop for the Rangers. We've got rookies for the Astros, Kyle Tucker and uh, Mr. Perez. I like these; they're nice little. It's a good visual for that one. We got the Blue Jays, Kendrys Morales, designated hitter. I like that they spell out designated hitter instead of DH. We've got news flashbacks. Orbited Apollo 13 mission comes home. There's the back of that. Nice 70s vibe for sure. We've got uh, this fella for the Diamondbacks. We've got Matt Chapman for third base. No division. <laughs> We got the Brew Crew, Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw. Yep, Travis Shaw. Uh, we got Marcus Seaman. We've got one of my favorite card types. This nice insert set, the Sporting News, cheesy as all get out, uh, on top of a you know newspaper type article with uh, all two edges busting, ripping straight through like a Bugs Bunny cartoon right there. Big Chungus. I'm going to be doing a set of these, and I've got another one, Brandon Crawford. Look at that. He's just he's taking his bat and whacking through the sporting news. I love these inserts. Please let me know if you guys have any. Oh, my gosh. These are too cheesy not to collect. We've got Tim Beckham up next. And we've got Rocky, uh, Rocky Rookie Stars, Alamante, Hampson, and Howard. 
And last but not least, we have Scott Schebler for the Reds. And there we have it, guys. There we have it. Nice uh, heritage value pack there. Um, nothing too crazy from what I saw. Two awesome inserts for the sporting news. Really liked. Uh, got me a cardinal card there as well. I'd say they hold up pretty well uh, in comparison to the uh, the originals. Um, the backs, a little bit different. The same color scheme, a little bit more vibrant. They add a nice cartoon there, which I really like. Um, so yeah, all in all, awesome product. Love the heritage, the card thickness, the card stock on these are always nice. Um, just clean looking cards. If you guys are in person autograph seekers, these are going to be great. They don't have the cheesy printed on autograph, so that's not going to screw you up this year. The borders are beautiful. Would recommend, but you don't have to be convinced, obviously, because you're watching this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You guys know the routine, as always. Till next time, see you.